It is so beautiful today, so I have a lot to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start hardening my seats, set up the table sitting area by the pond. I'm gonna make some chai vinegar because I have a lot of chai, so I might as well start doing that. If you wanna watch what I'll be up to the next probably couple of days because I have a, this may take me a little bit to finish some items. Hi, I'm Melba and I am an urban home gardener and I try to grow as much as I can in food and flowers in my tiny backyard. We started placing some stones since the pond is completed and I'll show you that and then I'm gonna start getting the table and all the decor put together this there will be there will be a lot more stuff that I'm gonna do because I want to build something where I can hang all my herbs and flowers to dry but for now I'm gonna get the first phase completed I have to put the gravel on it's right in front of the pond if you didn't see this video I made a whole video how I did this pond to simplify the larger pond we had here but right in front is where I want to put the table so these are some of the stones that we took off and they worked out really well here for a small little patio but I will fill in all the stone later so that we can get this stabilized but I'm gonna wait until we get the garden bed I bought one more of those that's gonna go next to it once I do that then I can just put all the gravel around here and it won't slide around I just love creating little cozy areas in the garden. They just are great whether you want to work from somewhere or just have a cup of tea and relax. They say to use the blooms that are partially open and not fully open, but I don't like to waste it, so I'm using anything that I get. I don't want to be just picky. I want to use what I have because I have a small garden, so I need to use whatever blooms I get. I am quickly realizing that I don't have enough vinegar for so many chives. I will then use some of these, I think, for salads this week. They are so good in salads. I always try to preserve a lot of the food that I grow in my garden, but I like super simple ways to do it. I'm learning to do water canning right now, so if you want to learn some of the techniques I use to keep it simple, I do have a blog post that you can check out. I will link it below.
If you have found value on the video so far, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel to grow.